Hi, this is a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up your language arts interactive notebook. This is a composition notebook that has um, 100 pages, but it's really 200 because it's back to back. So let's go ahead and get started. The first four pages are labeled table of contents and then they are split in half with a line going down the center with a straight edge, using a straight edge to do that. And then you're, num you're starting numbering here. I could have actually started numbering right here, which it doesn't really matter. Um, but as long as you have your table of contents going all the way on both sides that way. So again, the first four pages are the table of contents. You can see here, I actually started on the very top line, which is good. And at the bottom of every page is also numbered. That's page two. This is page three, table of contents. And you'll notice here I have on page 100 is where we start the paragraph of the week uh, things. So down here, I did mine a little bit different. Instead of two columns, I actually have three because I didn't want to use for that small column one whole page so that's what I did there because I can write small enough to put what goes on those pages when I get there then I start in the vocabulary the very next page on page five it starts the vocabulary and here I have four columns I start with word definition picture and then the example sentence using the word so here are the vocabulary words from the very beginning and then um, notice I have the smallest, hold on just a second. I have just the smallest area for the picture. It doesn't have to be elaborate, just a small enough space to draw a quick sketch uh, representing the vocabulary word. And then here, here we go with more of the vocabulary words. And then these are actually um, up to date because uh, these are this week's vocabulary words. And then I've created extra pages so that I'm ready for when, and then here you can see I made a mistake, but that's okay because I can write over it and it's not that big of a deal. And I also divided the um, vocabulary sections. Each vocabulary word should get two lines, as you can see here, two lines. And that should be plenty of space if you're writing small enough. And the biggest uh, space is actually provided for the sentence. And here you can see I, I didn't highlight this page and I didn't divide this page yet. But I could simply just take a ruler or a straight edge piece of paper to divide these pieces here. So now, um, let me go ahead and see, I've prepared several pages there. Um, and I've numbered all my pages. So I'm on page 14, but that's the first half of the notebook. The second half of the notebook is the um, paragraph of the week. And you can see I've included on the left-hand side in the very, very center, we start the paragraph of the week. In the left-hand side, I have pasted the prompt for the paragraph of the week, and that's always provided uh, for you on Monday. And the brainstorming part, this sort, you just brainstorm right here on this page. Um, according to the prompt, you brainstorm right here Monday. It takes maybe five minutes. Um, and then on Tuesday night, you're going to write your first rough draft in pencil right here on this page. All of your rough draft work happens on this page. Um, the Tuesday night, the first night, Wednesday, maybe you use a different color to edit your work, look back into the vocabulary to try to include one of the vocabulary words in the rough draft, and then you do that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all on this page, and like I said, use a different color for each day. So that is last week's uh, paragraph of the week. And then the very next page, is the next week's vocabulary, or I'm sorry, paragraph of the week. And the prompt goes here. Again, your brainstorming happens here Monday night. And then your rough draft work all happens on this one page. That's pretty much it.